Hi everyone, I'm Nicole and I'm the Canadian Nickel and today I'm going to be making an image from the Stretch Your Imagination cartridge. I've never used this cartridge before and I borrowed it off my girlfriend and I really wanted to make this cute little cricket because uh, it's so sunny today and all the snow is gone so I thought that would be a fun thing to make. So um, let's get out all the paper and let's get going. Alright, so three and a half was way too big so I'm going to uh, put my uh, size down to two and three quarters and then you hit the repeat last so if you make a mistake always hit repeat last if you want to cut the same Im image and then just wait for it to come up and hit cut all right so that looks like a great size for the little grasshopper and now I want to do the layers so in order to get to my next piece of paper that I want the lighter color you just come over here, and this is my favorite button, the line return. Oh, that's a much better size. And then just take it on over. Then you want to hit the layers button. And because it's down in the corner, I don't need to, heat, need to hit the shift. Hit your little cr grasshopper. I keep wanting to call him a cricket, but he's a grasshopper. And hit cut. All right, so I pulled out my, my uh, cuddle bug and I'm going to do the bottom of the grasshopper in my uh, Swiss Dots folder because I want him to look all bumpy. So just run him through. All right, there he is all bumpy. And uh, just a little footnote, which I didn't realize, these folders also can go through your cuddle bug that way as well. So just a little tip, just in case you didn't know, because I didn't know. And I have my pieces cut out. All right, there we go. He actually looks kind of cute with his bumpy little legs. Now I've got my little grasshopper all ready to go and I'm going to use my dabber sponges and my chalk to just go along and uh, blend in some of a darker green just on the outside. Alright, so now he's all blended and it's just a subtle little look and it just helps to um, take some of that green that's just kind of all flat and just give it some depth to it. So I do like doing that. So here's all the paper I've decided to use for my card and I was going to use this bright yellow but I've changed my mind and gone for the rich razzleberry because it kind of goes with this little color in there. And it's a standard A2 card cut at a, and the pa pattern paper is cut at a quarter inch smaller at five and a quarter and then an accenting piece of this always auger choke stamp it up paper is cut at two inches by five and a quarter and also some matching ribbon so th the reason why I've done this card like this is because if you're blog hopping around today for uh, National Scrapbooking Day then you're going to want a quick card to make so you can move on to the next one especially there's going to be a lot of challenges out there and this is just a really fast card if you want to partake and get your entry into any of the challenges that are out there right now because just some of my cards could take a little bit of time to do so I thought I would just do a super fast one and and plus if you're new to the Cricut oh by the way don't pre-tape that until you have applied the ribbon I'm so busy talking so I'm just gonna wrap the ribbon around like that and luckily I just put all that tape on there so I won't need to use my extra tape. There we go and now it's all taped and ready to go. See how fast that is? So I'm gonna put my little Cricut up on dimensionals and I like the Stampin' Up! ones if you've seen any of my videos lately I've been using these ones lately. I also like the pop dots that I get from the dollar store. I find they work just as well. And you just want to use a couple. Make sure not to get any around his eyes. I think we'll put him right about there. 
or I could give them scary red eyes. There. Now it looks like he's kind of, I like this paper because it looks like he's out in the garden or something like that. And now we're just ready to add a sentiment. Now that my card's ready for a sentiment, I grabbed a scrap piece of paper that I had in my scrap bin. And I just went to my computer and just wrote that out. I'm so happy for you. And the great thing about doing it on your computer is that you can change your font, change your size, and change all your colors. And I really like to do that, especially if there's something specific I want to say. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out with my word window punch, which right now for sentiments I'm really liking. And then I've got my accenting color, again, from my scrap bin. I'm just going to go ahead and tape those together quickly. And then I'm also going to use a piece of this matching ribbon just to quickly throw it in there, which I do on pretty much all my cards. And there's my completed card. It's really fast to make. So if you're out there blog hopping around on National Scrapbook Day, you can certainly pop one of these off and enter it in any challenges any of the blogs might be having. Also, don't forget on May 5th, I'm going to be giving away this Create a Critter cartridge that's full of fun little critters to create. And this was originally meant for when I got to 100 followers, but now I'm almost up to 200 followers. So as an added little bonus and a huge thank you, I just wanted to also include all of these cards that I've made. A lot of them have been featured on my blog and also the double gift tag that I also made a video for. And I'm going to throw that in. There's thank you notes and friendship notes, birthday notes. Uh, just a great selection of all, of all these cards. So all you have to do to be entered to win is make sure you uh, become a follower of my blog, leave a comment under the Create a Critter giveaway posting so you can be entered to draw. And if you're able to pass along the link to my blog onto your blog, that's great too. And uh, good luck to everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Woohoo!